Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I haven't done a favorites video in what feels like a long time. I honestly don't remember. I think I did like a current beauty favorites like two months ago-ish. I don't remember, but all I know is I have a lot, not a lot, but I have a few, a handful, a couple things in front of me that are new that I have currently been loving and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So yeah, this is going to be my June favorites video. By the way, I did just film this look. I did use the new Michaela and Glam Light palette, which you will probably see that before you see this. So this look will probably be up, which I will link down below for you guys. But yeah, so um, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Before we jump into this video, I want you guys to see my shirt. It says like and subscribe i was in american eagle like last week and it was on clearance and it was literally the only one they had it was the one in my size and i was just like this shirt was like made for me so i had to of course pick it up and wear it in a video like it's only like appropriate so go ahead and do what the shirt says go ahead and like and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump into the video now, now that i am done being completely obnoxious i have a lot in front of me to talk about with you guys so i'm just gonna go in random Order. So the first thing I want to talk about, I don't know if I've talked about this recently, but a few, like a few years ago, this was like a, my one of my favorite highlighters, and recently it's been the only one that I've been reaching for. This is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter in the shade I'm So Lit. Seriously, I have had this for three years, and as you can see, it is still full. It is the highlight that I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can tell on my cheeks right now, and this is a really intense highlight, but it's more of like a glow from within like you can make this really really intense or you can make this a really natural one i like to make it really natural like it's on my cheeks right now and yeah it's glowy but it's not like over the top like obnoxious it just really just sits beautifully on your skin and you look like an angel and this thing is like three dollars and you get all of this how many ounces it's 0.28 ounces so that's a lot and it's wet and wild so obviously it's super affordable i love this highlighter so 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 freaking much like I forget I don't even know why I stopped using it but I picked it up recently and I was like yes this is like what I've been wanting in the highlight these days like why did I forget that I had this so if you guys are interested in a good affordable loose highlighter check out the one wild one and I'm so lit love it so I have recently spoke about these in one of my videos I don't remember which one I think it was my Ulta haul something I've spoke about it recently but this is a Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer my friend Santos put me on to these. I remember trying these years and years and years ago when they first came out. I say years and years and years like it was 10 years, but I think it was like two or three years ago they came out, so not that long ago. I need to relax. But I picked up mine in two shades, in Snow and Almond, and I love this concealer. I love mixing it with other concealers. I love it on its own. It's very lightweight. It gives you beautiful coverage. I'm actually not wearing it today I'm wearing a different concealer, but I have been loving these. I wear them every single day when I go to work. They are just beautiful. They're not heavy on the skin. They don't look cakey. They don't crease. Like they are great. They are really hydrating though. So you definitely don't want to like have a lot of eye cream on or something super hydrating underneath your eyes because it can become like a creasy mess, but I love them so much. A lot of people used to compare them to Tarte Shape Tape. I don't think it's comparable to Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape, in my opinion, is a lot heavier than this. This is a lot more lightweight with the same like coverage for the most part. Oh my god, there's like a bug in here or not something. But yeah, I love this so much. Like I said, I wear it every single day. So if you're looking for a good concealer, you want to kind of splurge a bit, check out the Too Faced Born This Way because I am currently loving it. But since we were talking about concealer for the under eye, we might as well talk about like keep it in the same family, right? So up next is my new Holy Grail setting powder. When I first tried this, I actually tried it on camera. I was like, okay, it's good. And then I tried it a few times. I didn't like it. And then I was like, let me like try it again. And now I am completely in love with it. This is Jaclyn Hill's new um, under eye brightening loose powder thingy. And this is brightening like banana. This is her loose setting powder for the under eye that she recently just came out with. First of all, this packaging is gorgeous. Like I said, I have mine in the shade Light Banana. It is what I have underneath my eyes at the moment. When I first tried it, I liked it. And then throughout the day, my concealer started to crease and then get just get creasier and creasier and creasier. And I was like, what's happening? So then I tried it again, same issue. What I noticed was I wasn't leaving it on long enough. So what, what I want to say about this powder is it is very... For whatever reason, I want to say moisturizing, but it's not moisturizing, but it's not, it's not a drying powder. You know how, like, 
the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. I'm used to using that one every single day, and that one is more on the drier side, so I don't have to leave that one on for a long period of time. I put it on for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute, and then take it off my face, and I'm good to go. But this one, I was trying to do the same thing that I do with the Wet n Wild one, and it was just not working out, and I couldn't figure out why. So then one day I was like, the consist. I did it like when I went to work. I did one side with the Jaclyn Hill, one side with the Wet n Wild. And I noticed in the, during that day, like as I was applying it, that the Wet n Wild one is a lot drier than the Jaclyn Hill one. The Jaclyn Hill one is more like, I want to say hydrating, but it's like more, it's not as drying. That's like the, it's not moist, but it's not drying. It's more of like a hydrating powder in my opinion. And I noticed that I need to keep it on a little bit longer than the Wet n Wild one. So instead of keeping it on for 30 seconds to a minute, I keep it on for like two to three minutes. And then I have noticed that while it, like when I keep it on for that long, it doesn't give me that drying feeling. You know when you keep a dry powder on for too long, it dries up your, underneath your eyes. Like this does not happen to me with this powder. Wow, why can I not talk today? I'm telling you it's because I'm really hungry right now, but I don't have that problem with this powder. Like I said, you do have to keep it on longer than a normal powder or longer than a drying powder for it to really set your under eyes and make them look good. But as long as you're willing to keep it on for two to three minutes, your under eyes are going to look snatched and bright. And I love that it gives you extra coverage. Like I'm wearing it right now and you can just see how like covered my under eyes are, how bright they are. And I am obsessing over this. I love it so frigging much. So if you were on the fence about getting this powder, get the powder because your under eyes will thank you and then you will thank your under eyes for looking frigging bomb because that powder is the best. Let's talk about the lashes that I'm currently wearing on my eyes right now. You guys, they are becoming my favorite lashes. I love them so much. I was never a lash girl. Like I could never like get it together. And then I was in Sephora during the VIB sale, I believe. And I saw these and I was like, you know what? These look very, very natural. And the name is effortless. And that's the kind of look I want when it comes to lashes. I don't like big dramatic lashes. I just think I look like a clown when I put them on like myself. They look beautiful on other people, but for some reason on me, I just look like a weirdo. So I picked these up and I wore them once and then this last month I've been wearing them more and more. Like I've been wearing them to film, I've been wearing them when I go out and I've been blown away with them. They are so good. I've used them probably like six or seven times at this point and they're still holding strong. There is a lot of glue on them so it's probably time for me to maybe transition and get another pair. But these have become my favorite lashes. Like I said, just look. They they give you that fullness without making you look like a freaking weirdo and like a side well me I look like a complete psychopath when I have big lashes on because my eyes are already big and then these big lashes I just look I look crazy when I do that but I have been loving these also to pair with these I want to talk about my next favorite I picked this up recently this is the duo rose water and biotin adhesive lash glue I got mine in the shade dark I don't like clear lash glue and I don't like like the white lash glue. I don't even know if it is white. I think it's just clear, but I don't like having that clear strip on my lashes because you can really see it. And I'm always wearing liner like no matter what. If I'm wearing lashes, I'm wearing liner along with it. So I like it to kind of like blend on its own. And this is super affordable. I think it's like three to six dollars at Ulta, CVS, wherever you want to get it from. And it's so good. Like I have one from House of Lashes, I think. No, I actually think I have the Velour uh, like lash liner thingy that they make. I'm not sure. I think it is that. It's like a lash liner glue type of situation. I used to love it, but then it just became super messy to me and I was just not into it anymore. And this I am so frigging into. It's literally not even funny. It makes putting on lashes so easily. And I am somebody that kind of struggles when it comes to putting on lashes. That's why I kind of like step away from them. and I don't always wear them, but between this lash and then this lash glue, it has become like second nature to me. I'm like, boop, on, boop, on. Like, it's just so easy. It used to take me like 20 minutes to try to get one lash on my eye. And now it takes me five and I have both on. So if you want a good natural lash, even though these are a little bit more on the pricier side, check out the Velour Effortless, Effortless ones. And then if you need a good affordable lash glue, check out the Duo Black one. It is so so, so good. Thinking with lashes really quickly. So I do want to talk about a mascara that I have fallen in love with. Like, I don't even need to buy another high-end mascara, like, as long as I live 
That is a dramatic statement. I'm probably lying, but this mascara is brand new. I think it came out like two months ago, and I am obsessing over it. I have not seen one person talk about it, and I'm not exactly sure why, because this mascara is like the new, like the new girl in town. Like everybody wants to be her, everybody wants to look like her. Like this is that mascara. This is from L'Oreal. This is their new air volume mega mascara. This packaging seriously reminds me of the Maybelline Sky High one, the one that went like viral like six months ago. I never tried it because I can't use, sorry, my bangs keep getting stuck to my lash, but I can't use Maybelline like eye products because something in their ingredients like literally gives me like almost pink eye. My eyes become so red and irritated and I can like barely even open my eye. I haven't been able to use Maybelline in like eight years and whenever I think about trying it, I'm always like, no. Remember what happened to you like eight years ago when you used it all the time, you had crazy reactions. So I just keep my distance from Maybelline when it comes to their eye products. But L'Oreal mascaras, I typically always love. And I saw this one and I picked it up because the packaging looked like the Sky High one. And I was like, since I can't try that one, let me try this one. This one is so good. Literally, I just need like one coat of this and my lashes are like, vroom. like they are so like volumized and just like out there. They look freaking amazing. I love this mascara so, 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 so much. If you need a good, affordable mascara, check this one out. It's so good. I wish I could show you guys without my lashes on, but I have my lashes on. I do have the mascara on underneath though. That mascara is life-changing. I do have a TikTok on it. Like I always tell you guys in all my videos, if you have TikTok, go ahead and follow me because I do post quite a bit on there and this I did review on TikTok. So go check it out if you want to see it in action. But yeah, super good, super affordable, loving this. I want to talk about fragrance really quickly. I did just post a video, Um, it was like my summer essentials, my summer must haves and I talked about this in that video. This is from Ariana Grande. This is her perfume in the sense Ari. This is what it looks like. Look at the cute little puff ball. Oh my God, you guys, this perfume has quickly become my favorite perfume. I literally just walk past my perfume display and I just sit there and smell it for like five minutes straight because I'm a complete lunatic. But I love this perfume so much. Me and my sister were in Ulta last week and I was like, oh my God, I want you to smell this perfume. So she smelled it and she was like, oh, that smells so good. And I was like, I know, I know, it smells so good, right? And she was like, yes. So she like bought it. I was like, you know what, if you want it, buy it for yourself. And she's like, no, I am. I love this perfume so much. And this perfume, you guys, is just so good. My best friend was visiting from Florida, and I sprayed it. And she was like, oh, my God, what did you spray? And I, I was like, oh, I sprayed this one. She's like, oh, can I use it? And I kind of, like, gave her, like, a look. I was like, mm, like, of course, obviously, she could have used it. But I was just being, like, annoying and, like, funny. And I was like, mm, I just bought it. Like, maybe not. But whatever. This perfume is that good. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Like, everybody that I introduce it to or everybody that smells it is like, like, that smells amazing. Like, what is that? So you guys need to check this out. If you guys haven't, this just smells like bubble gum. Like, just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Sticking to Ariana Grande, this is a body spray by her. This is in the scent Cloud. I was in Walgreens and I was, like, browsing their body spray selection. By the way, Walgreens has a killer body spray um, selection. They have Paris Hilton. They have Ariana Grande. They have so many like OG scents from like early 2000s that I was like shocked and they're not even that expensive. Like I said, this is in the scent Cloud. It's a little bit different than the Ariana, than the Ari one. Then this one that I just spoke about, this one is more like, I want to say like manlier in my opinion. It has more of like a manly cologne scent, but also like kind of like fruity and girly. I don't know. There's something about this that I love. It kind of reminds me of hairspray mixed with like men's cologne. I don't know, but all I know is that it's a vibe. And for, I think it was like $9 or $11 for $11, I would definitely repurchase this. I want to smell the perfume. I'm sure it's going to smell identical, but I do know that she has this scent in a perfume and I want to smell it and kind of see if like the perfume is a little bit stronger, like what the difference is. But yeah, so between these two scents, I have been loving Ariana Grande's perfume line. And I know she's coming out with a new one called God is a Woman. And your girl cannot wait to smell that one because, in my opinion, Ariana Grande kills it when it comes to fragrances, as you can see. I'm loving her at the moment. And the last product that I quickly want to talk about is this new lipstick that I bought from Wet n Wild. This is in the scent, oh, in the scent? No, in the shade Skinny Dipping. It is a very cool-toned 
like nude it is such my vibe and it was like three dollars or four dollars at cvs it's what i'm wearing on my lips right now i have it mixed with a ColourPop lip liner as well as a nyx gloss but this is like the main thing on my lips i love this i have been reaching for it every single time i do my makeup i used to always use my sephora lipstick in the shade love love but like this has kind of like slowly taken its place like i find myself reaching for this every time i do my makeup every time i film a video like it's just what I'm into at the moment, and I think that this formula, even if you wear it on its own without a lip liner or without a lip gloss, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's not drying at all. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is very much my vibe. Cool toned, just very, very beautiful. I am loving it at the moment. If you were like me and you like really cool toned, nudie type of lipsticks, check out this one. It's in the shade Skinny Dipping one more time, but yeah, I am completely obsessed with it. It's just like my total like it's who i am okay it's who i am in a lipstick okay so that completes its june favorites video these are all the products that i've currently been obsessing with and loving in the month of june um yeah let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these products let me know if you have smelt this perfume and if you haven't go to ulta please smell it thank me later seriously you guys will not be disappointed oh my god oh my god it smells so good i want to wear it today oh my god it's so freaking amazing oh i love this perfume so much but yeah, so as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe, you know, like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, so I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video.